Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw Chimchar from Pokemon. So we're going to draw the character in a standing position facing slightly towards the left. So I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm going to give them a bit of a frown. So starting on the left side, we're going to draw the upper eyelid from the outside, curving in and down. And then on the end here, we're just going to turn that up slightly. We take that and flip it over on the right side. So we're going to draw that little curve in the front first, so leaving a gap in the middle, like that. And we're going to curve up towards the right. Now, because he's facing that way, you're going to see a little bit wider eye on the right side than we will on the left. So let's go back to the left side. We're going to draw the edge of the eye. So stepping in on the left side, we're going to curve down to the bottom of the eye. And on the inside, we'll draw the reverse curve coming in. From here, we're going to connect those two points with a slight curve going down. Let's go over to the right side and draw the same thing. So from the inner side of the eye, curve in towards the bottom at the same height. Now, like I said, we're going to make this eye a little bit wider because when the head's turned, you'll see a little bit less of the eye on the left. Up here, we're going to curve in the opposite direction, coming down to the same height, and then rounding out the bottom. Let's go ahead and draw in the iris and pupil. So on the outside here, on the left side, we're going to step in, we're going to curve and connect to that bottom of the eye, like so. Now from here, let's draw in the iris. Up here, we're going to draw a big oval, starting from the top, come down, and then tuck this in underneath the eyelid. And we're going to draw a little highlight circle. So up here, we're going to draw a smaller oval. And then up here, we're just going to trace the inside of this iris for the pupil. So there's a little strip of white on the outside. We're going to color the inside area in black. Let's go ahead and draw the same thing on the right side. So again, we're going to draw the strip for the eyeball first. So starting at the top, curving down to the bottom corner there. Let's go ahead and draw in the iris. So up here, curve down to the bottom and curve back up to the top, tucking that underneath the eyelid. We'll draw the little highlight oval at the top and then tracing around for the pupil. Going up and then coloring all this in black. Okay, so now that we got that, we're going to move down and we're going to draw some nostrils. So we're not going to draw them dead center. We're going to shift them over to the left side slightly. We're going to start with a little angled line on both sides. From here, we're going to go down to the bottom edge of this eye here, move over, and we're going to draw a little point. This will be our starting point for the cheek. And what we want to do is we want to draw the, the upper edge of the mouth. So curving around underneath the nostrils, we'll curve up towards the right eye. And then as we get towards the end, we're just going to bend it down. From this point, we're now we want to draw the top of the head. It's almost like a big round circle that goes all the way around towards the ears. So what we want to do is we want to draw a curve going up around the eye, up to the top of the head, which we'll draw right about here. Starting on the inside, we're going to curve up. And we're going to round this off at the top of the head, like so. From here, there's this little hair tuft that curves up. So we're going to step back. Do a curve towards the right and then curve in the opposite direction. From here, we're going to curve down and stop right about here because we want to imagine this curve going all the way to the back of the head. So we're going to do an overlap again and just round out and continue that round top of the head there. We're stopping here at the top of the eye because we want to draw and there in the ear. So on the right side, we're going to step in a little bit, curve out to the ear, and now we're going to bring this in just around mouth height. So we're curving in, coming in towards the face, and then just rounding out like that. It's almost like a big oval sort of angle this way. Let's draw the ear detail. So up here, we're just going to curve around the inside, and then up here we're going to step in and just curve up and tuck this in underneath that line on the top, just like that. Now that we have the ear in place, now we can tuck in the bottom of the chin. So we're going to step in here and just curve and round out the bottom of the chin. Coming around and tucking that in underneath the ear. We're going to draw the opposite ear. So on this side, we're going to take the ear and flip it over here. So we want to make sure we get roughly the same height, starting here, rounding up the top of the ear. We want to come down just behind that cheek or that lip. Curving in like that. We're going to draw that same ear detail. So up here, curve in one direction, tucking underneath the inside part of the ear. Let's go ahead and draw in the hair. So the center of the head actually curves around this way. So the nose between the eyes up to the center here. So I'm going to put a point. This will be our starting point for the hair. 
From this side, I want to curve up towards the left, and curve up towards the right. Again, same height. I'm going to curve down on the left, and we'll curve down on the right. Then we're going to curve this back up on both sides. Curving up. Now you see I'm going a little bit wider on this side. Again, because the heads turn, just like how we did with the eyes. From this point, I'm just going to curve and tuck this in on the side of the head. Over on the right side, I'm just going to tuck this in behind the ear. Now there's these little eyebrows on top, in, above the eyes, so we're just going to draw this little angled line on both sides like that. Okay, so now that we've got the face, let's get into the body. So I'm going to have them hunched over a little bit with the arms out and these fists. So we're going to go over this way because, again, the body's turned this way, so we're going to have to draw the body shifted back on the head. So just under here, we're going to draw a curve going down. I'm going to draw the body down to about right where my fingers are. So from this point, I want to reverse curve and just pull this back like this. From here, now I'm going to draw in the leg here. So the leg gets overlapped on top of this body, and then the back leg gets tucked in behind the body. So I'm going to have to start with this leg. So we're going to start up here with the thigh. So right about here, I'm going to curve down. Now I'm going to go back up here and draw the exact same thing, but in the opposite direction. So up here I'm going to curve around, back like this. Now this is where it goes into the knee. Now from here, I want to curve this up. I'm going to stop right here because I'm going to have to draw the arm in afterwards. So from here, let's finish off the foot. I'm going to step back a little bit and do an overlap for the inside part of the leg. From here, I'm going to round out and swirl around a toe, just like that. Now we're going to just layer in some toes behind it. So just underneath this toe here, I'm going to swirl around. And just connect that like that. We'll do one more toe, curling around like this. Now I'm not going to close this off because I want to curve this underneath that thigh. We're going to draw on the ankle, just this hair separation between the fur and the foot. So right here I'm just going to draw a curve like that. Let's go to this side and draw this leg. So like this leg here is bent, so we're going to start up here around the same height. I'm just going to round out and I want to come down to about the same height for the knee as I do on the right, kind of like that. Up here, I'm going to curve in towards the back of the knee. Now from here, I want to come down to the heel. So on this side, on the right, the heel is right about here. So I'm located on the same height on the left side. I'm going to curve around the heel like this. Now I want to draw the toes. So the foot's actually going to be pointing that way. So from here, I'm going to curve down. I'm going to round out one toe like this. I'm going to do a series of overlaps for three times. Two, I'm not going to close off the toes. And then for the third one in the back, I'm going to come in over the toes and then just tuck this in underneath that kneecap. Again, like I did here, I'm going to just do a separation line for the fur. Okay, now let, before I get into the arms, I'm going to draw that little swirl in the underbelly. Up here, where the turn happens, I'm going to draw a curve and just do a little swirl to the top of the belly. From here, I'm going to go just below this curve and tuck this in behind that leg. Let's go ahead and draw on this arm here. So this is a simple, it's just like a pipe cleaner arm. It's going to curve down towards the fist. So here I'm going to do an overlap. I'm going to curve down like this. Up here, I'm going to draw that same curve coming down to the wrist. So let's start up here, curve down like that. From this point, I'm going to draw on the fist. So from here, I'm going to draw in a curve for the thumb. I'm going to draw a curve, like a little bracket, to separate the thumb and the finger. We're going to move over and draw a curl around that bracket. Let's draw another curve overlapping, and then one final one in towards that wrist. Now on the wrist here, I'm just going to draw a little separation line, just like we did with the feet. Let's go ahead and draw this arm on this side. We're going to take that and draw the exact same version just flipped over here. So we want to match up the height of the wrist. Start with the bottom of the arm at the armpit. Curving down like that. Top of the arm, start up here, curving down towards the wrist. Now we're going to draw on that fist. So let's start with a curve for the thumb, and draw the little bracket. Start up here, curl around that bracket, do an overlap, one more finger, and then the final one right into that wrist. And we'll draw that separation for the wrist line. And the final detail is the little flame in the back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down here. I'm going to make it look like it's sort of tucking in between the legs 
and in towards the back. So here, I'll curve in behind this leg. I want to imagine this flame coming up behind the arm. I'll probably go up here. And just draw a little flame tip going up. So it's sort of like a little wave that goes all the way up. From here, I'm just going to curve in the opposite direction behind the arm. I'm going to come down just underneath the arm here. And go up. And I'll just tuck this in behind the body like that. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chimchar from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you did, please give us a like and keep watching our videos. Because the more you watch, the more lessons I'm going to be able to make. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.